the following tutorial for Integrated Microbial Genomes Annotation Collaboration Toolkit will encompass the Sequence Similarity Module Conserve Domain Database portion of the lab notebook. I'm going to log myself in as a student, select my course, note that I have this assignment, and of course I have uh, this gene object identifier page that op opens up as uh, having some information about this thing that I have been assigned. And then here is my lab notebook. Within my lab notebook, I'm in the sequence based similarity data. And here you can see I've already finished uh, my BLAST or basic local alignment search tool work. Now I need to fill in these six boxes and together with the mechanical part of copying and pasting and filling this in. Also a little bit of understanding of what a CDD or a conserved domain database and what a COG is or clusters of orthologous groups. By and large though, recall that we're over here. Uh, we, we have this uh, uh, gene details page that we have referred to and that we do have some information in. But also in order to do these these manipulations, I have been relying on the protein sequence. So here is this thing I've been assigned. Over here now you see I have this protein sequence. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to my sequence based similarity module. And I'm going to uh, open the conserved domain database link in a separate page and um, I'm going to start with a conserved domain database search right here, clicking on this one. But from that link, I can paste my sequence right in there and submit it. This is not that much different than doing the BLAST search or the basic local alignment search tool search um, in, 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 in mechanism, but um, the results are different and the search algorithm is different. That is the rules, the mathematical rules describing how the protein sequence is compared to the database are in fact different. So going back here we have our we have three results and in here I need to enter a, a number, a name, and an E value. So I go back up and uh, let's just click on the top hit. There's a number associated with that. That's a hyperlink. I can pop that up there. Um, the, you can see the name is right before. In fact the name is ABC mod C molybendium transporter. I can copy that or I can go over here. I can get that same name and I can uh, pop that name right in here. And then I can go get this same cog number. You can see it right up here, CD, and it's also whoop, a little bit more difficult than you would have thought to copy and paste that and pop that number. Ooh, I bet I copied something that, ooh, that's cool. I love it when that happens. Let's make sure I f pick out the right color. Well, let's pick Arial Black. And let's pick Arial. And format, nope, how am I gonna, is that color? Ah, there we go. Uh, well, here's an interesting example of a, of a small issue. So let's go over here. Let's copy it right there. See if I can't get that. There we go. Uh, and the E value. So I need to go back to my search result and get my E value. So I'll drag that one back over here and pop it in there. And I have two to do, so I have a second hit. Here you can see that there's a conserved domain length of 214 for the whole 358 amino acid protein. Thus, the conserved domain is much smaller, and the search query search starts at 14 and ends at 217. Uh, the next top hit has an E value that's much different. You see minus 63 versus 5.49 to the minus 3. This is a significant difference. 
I'm going to put that in there. Um, one of the purposes of doing these sort of exercises is to just gain experience in this whole uh, process of, of bioinformatics and uh, using comparative tools to examine uh, a, a gene of interest. And it probably seems like you're just sort of popping about and copying and pasting, but really this, uh, this is a real, real bioinformatics and uh, I just want you to recognize that by collecting some of this information, huh, which is surprisingly more difficult than uh, my copying and pasting. Well, that's going to be white again, but what the heck. Whoop. And we'll just highlight the whole thing and make it aerial black. Huh. Why doesn't it want to have a color? Well then, I'll just type it. C L zero one four four zero. And I typed it by looking up there. Go down here, I'm gonna save that work. And I'm gonna remind you that this is a short, quick video that describes the use of conserved domain databases to complete the six input boxes in your laboratory notebook. And that would be...